Yep guys, welcome to my channel. It's Rowan Xblade and in today's video we are making a simple animation in Recon 4D. So at first I I thought that I'll make a walking cycle in Recon 4D but I am not like I'm not really understand the animation copy paste thing yet in Recon 4D. So after I understand it, I will make a video. So let's open a new project and here we have to delete the cube and then i'll add a plane for the ground reference okay and then we have to add our human model which i have added in presets already so how to add objects in presets i have showed in our previous video but i'll show you again you have to click on the object your object first select your object then go to object mode you can go from here or from hierarchy you can select your model and here you have to click on object and then you will see a save option here so you have to click on the save then your object will be saved in presets and you can see through here so and how i get the bones i have imported the glt file you can't import glt file directly your glt file should be in zip file then you have to import the zip file okay so let's make a simple animation first i'll set up my model like this so let's make a waving emote type thing in today's video so let's go to animation in here first make the head down little bit okay now add a keyframe keyframe here you will see the option of keyframe so here add a keyframe like this and then after one second or 20 frames it will look up here Okay. To look up like this. So if I play the animation, then wait a little bit. And here again add a keyframe, and for once it will look this side. Oops, it's a little bit more in. On one second like this and then it will rotate to this side so here we have to add a keyframe and it will take one second to rotate and here it will rotate like this and between them it will a little bit high for the leg movement okay so here we have to keyframe all the bones in the leg and then it will go here to here again all the leg will be like all the bones of the both leg will be keyframed here um okay. bone will be move like this first um this one okay so here we have to like this a little bit not um, let me see first like this okay so here like this it will be like this and this 
Delete maybe. Okay. Although the animation is not that great, but okay, let's just adjust a little bit here. Um, should be stuck there but it's not just adjust a little bit click should be something like here as it is front a little bit let's see okay so here after that this this bone should be rotated like this the first leg which it's moving so here so if i go with this then again okay just a little bit so let's see if i animate it right now what will happen not that good but also not that bad so then the hands okay then the hand movement so also will be um, let's see here one hand and the will be keyframe here and here it will rotate a little bit and this hand will be from the this bone here and then bring it up like this then it will wave to this side to the another and also here to here so let's play the animation The waving speed is very slow, so we have to do something about that. So let's see. Here it is. Delete the keyframe, also this one. 
and from here it starts waving so first this frame then this frame from here it will start waving so make it let's make it really fast first this one then again this one here will be one keyframe then first keyframe here then the second keyframe here and also is its body will move with this then here okay so now if i play the animation yep so this this should be enough so let's now make our environment you have to go to object mode okay now i'll make this way too bigger and i'll add a sky box here we have to i'll add a sky so to add a sky you have to click on the sky box and you have to select the image from your gallery so i'll select the image so i'll select this one this is from our previous video okay done and here let's get to And you have to I'll change it to sunlight and a little bit yellowish type or reddish type okay then and you have to rotate it and for the plane I'll select another material okay and change the material color to dark green and something like this to go enable the shadow from modes and what if I change the render engine to which one never mind let it be gradient and then I think I should add a texture to the human this one and let's add a texture here you have to import we have to import it yeah smooth ceiling should be on let's import it so i have imported the deadpool texture okay done and let's go into camera select your position let's see if it's okay done and here okay so now we have to render it so first we have to see where we have like the last animation or in which frame okay so let's see where it is okay so it's seven seconds so seven seconds means in 200 okay from frame 0 to frame 210 210 okay 
so let's render it so the rendering is done now it's encoding okay so the video is saved to gallery and here is the video so tell me in the comments what do you think about this video and if you like the video you know what to do and i will try to explore the animation feature more and if i new learn something new i will show you so we will meet again in next video bye